All right, time for a quick recap up to this point. We introduced uh, the fact that there are different sources of uh, error, modeling error, numerical error, and uh, we've been uh, talking in detail about numerical error. In particular, we talked about uh, round-off error, um, and and actually we, we haven't talked about truncation error yet. We'll get there, um, but really the only one of these that we've covered so far is quantization error. And uh, in talking about quantization error, what we did was uh, we introduced the different uh, number representation for binary. Uh, we introduced how integers are represented, fixed point number representation, which is just a fractional scaling of the integers, uh, and then floating point number representation, uh, which is a bit more complex. We had to spend quite a bit of time on that, uh, but we saw several things that arose uh, because of that, and, and now we'll just look at those, uh, brief uh, review of those. Uh, we, we noted that there are a finite uh, set of numbers that can be represented. Uh, there is uh, this problem that, that comes into play uh, when we represent numbers in binary uh, with overflow and, and also with, with underflow, uh, which really comes into play when, when we're working with floating point numbers. Uh, and um, or at least it's it's it could be a larger a larger value uh, for the the underflow hole which we talked about. Then we have uh, the interval. Uh, this fact that the interval between numbers delta x increases as the numbers get larger with uh, and this this only applies as well. This only applies to uh, floating point because with fixed point numbers the interval uh, between numbers is, is actually the same for all numbers. Okay, so now uh, we're ready to talk about, still uh, still in the topic of round off error, uh, we're ready to talk about numerical manipulations and how numerical manipulations lead to round off error. And this is just sort of an overview of, of the topics that we're going to cover there. First, we have uh, common ar arithmetic operations, arithmetic operations, and we have division running off the page here. Let's just fix that here. Okay, we have common arithmetic operations, addition, subtraction, multiplication, division. All of these can induce uh, n n numerical error uh, and exacerbate it. Uh, in particular, uh, we're going to uh, point out the fact that adding large and small numbers uh, causes problems. One particular example of that that the book uh, talks about uh, where that can come into play uh, is uh, when you're calculating inner product. Uh, we have subtractic, subtractive cancellation. Uh, and this happens when you subtract two numbers that are very close to each other. And a special case of subtractive cancellation uh, that occurs uh, when you're adding terms in an infinite series, for example, um, where the magnitude of the numbers that you're combining is is much, much greater than uh, the magnitude of the result, and that, um, and the problem that you actually have is subtractive cancellation, um, but the the term that we give give to that in that specific instance is, is smearing. Of course, subtractive cancellation is a much more general term uh, that applies to to the fact that when you subtract two numbers that are very close to each other, you uh, lose uh, digits of precision. Now, let's talk about those in a little bit more detail. 